Hello guys! Welcome back! Ito na nga yung pinangako ko sa inyong part 2 ng ating video kasi nauna na nga si joint variation. So, ito na si combined variation. Ngayon kung ito yung una mong mapapanood na video, stop ka muna. Puntahan mo muna si joint variation para tuloy-tuloy ang pagkatuto mo. Okay? At syempre kung bago ka pa lang, pindutin mo na yung subscribe button dyan at ang notification bell at syempre yung like button dyan para lahat tayo Masaya, okay? Sa combined variation. Now, this is a variation where one where one quantity varies directly to other quantity. So direct siya sa isang quantity pero inversely to the other quantity. So ito ay combination ng direct variation at inverse variation. Kaya siya tinawag na combined variation. Now the equation means uh, the V varies directly as W and inversely as Z. Now para malaman nyo anong equation yan, that will be Y is equal to Okay, K, V, W over Z. Okay, so ito, direct sila, tapos inverse sila dun sa Z. So, paano ba natin sasagutan ito, yung letter B dun sa learning task ninyo? Ito, medyo matrabaho ng onte ah, pero tsaga-tsaga lang tayo. Okay, for number 1, we have this. Hahanapin natin yung value ng K and then gagawa tayo ng equation. So, for number 1, ang formula natin, tandaan nyo ha, Y is equal to Aha, K, V, W over, eto yung Z natin. Okay, o, so we plug in lang or substitute lang natin tong mga to. So you will have your 36. Sorry, 36 is equal to, ang K natin is missing, so wala siya. So we have your V, which is 8, and then 12 over, ang Z natin is 2. Okay, now we have here 8 times 12. So, we have 36 is equal to 96K over 2. Okay, para mawala itong 2, we have to cross multiply over 1 ito. 36 times 2, that will be 72 equals to 96K. Okay, so para maging K lang siya, i-divide natin siya by 96. And then 96, so cancel, cancel, K is 72 over 96. So, ito ay divisible by how many? The lowest term natin yung 72 and 96. Uh, divisible siya by 24, di ba? So, ilang 24 meron kay 72? Tatlo. Tama? So, we have your 3. And then 4. So, your K will be 3 over 4. Ayun na. So, 3 over 4 yun nandito. Okay. Now, for our equation, ano nangyayari? Para tayong minumulto. Wait lang. So, for our equation, we'll have here, Y is equal to, ang K natin is 3 over 4. And then... Okay, ang V natin is, we have, sorry, v, v lang talaga siya, and then W, and then Z. Ala, bakit ganun? Wait lang ha. Something is wrong. Okay, so ang equation natin ay ito. 3 over 4, or 3 V, W over 4 Z. Okay, for number 2, same equation tayo ha, kasi combined ito. So, y is equal to k v w over z. So, substitute lang ang y natin ay 20 equals to ang k mo ay 10, ang v mo ay 9, so 10 times 9, and then w is missing. Hanapin natin siya, and then yung z mo ay 15. Okay, and then we have 20 is equal to 10 times 9. That's 90, di ba? 90, okay, 90 W over 15. So, what's 90 divided by 15? That will be 6, tama? 6 W. Okay, now we have to divide it by 6 and then 6 here. 
So, you will have here now W as, okay, anong lowest term nito? Divisible by 2. So, you will have 10 over 3. So, that's the value of your W. So, you will have here 10 over 3. Wag matakot na nagiging uh, fraction yung sagot ha, kasi okay lang naman na fraction ang sagot. Hala, ano to? Bakit bumababa? Wait lang. So, we have here 10 over 3. Hala. Okay. O, so, basta 10 over 3 yan. Na, hindi ko alam kung bakit nagkakaganon siya. And then, sa equation natin, we have y is equal to, hmm, ang k natin is 10. Okay. V, w over z. Napapansin nyo, bumababa siya, no? So, 10 over 3 yan, ha? Okay. So, for number 3, Okay, we have here, same equation, y is equal to kvw over z. Okay, so ang nawawala naman natin dito ay y. Pero alam natin na sa equation, makukuha natin ang k. At ang k natin ay 3 over 2. Okay, ayan. So, having that, you will have here y is equal to 3 over 2. Ano ang v mo? Okay, we have there 8. Ano ang W? 12. Okay, over. So, you will have there 2 over, ah, uh, 2 times yung Z mo na 3. Okay, so, mad mad madali lang to ha. Huwag matakot na may fraction, kagaya ng sinasabi ko kanina. Okay, what is 3 times 8? 24. 24 times 12. O kaya para mas madali, itong 12 and 2, pwede silang ma-divide, diba? So, eto, ilang 2 meron kay 12, magiging 6 na lang ito. So, what is 8 times 6? 48, diba? O now, 48 times 3, that's 144. So, you will have here y is equal to 144 over 2 times 3, that's 6. Okay, so I divide no. What is 144 divided divided by six? Oh, that's 24. Oh, I check no ha. Kung tama yung mga nagiging sagot ko dyan. Okay, so we have there 24. Kaya ang y mo dito 24. Okay. Okay, for number 4, dito ko na lang ilalagay ha sa gilid. Hala, para makita niyo yung given. Intindihin niyo na lang ha. Okay, para hindi ko na siya ibababa sa mga given natin. Okay, for number 4, we have the same equation. Y is equal to kvw over z. Okay, ang y mo ay 10 equals to k is, oh, since meron tayong equation dito, we can say, oh, ang k natin dito ay 8. Okay, so ang uh, k mo ay 8. And then wala tayong v. Okay, and then ang W no ay 3. Okay, napakaliit ng space natin. And then yung Z mo ay 2. Okay, what is now 8 times 3? 24 divided by 2, that's 12. So, you will have here 10 is equal to 12V. Okay ha, 8 times 3, 24 divided by 2, 12. And then to solve for V, divide mo lang siya by 12. So, your V is equal to 5 over 6. Lowest term ng 10 over 12 divisible by 2. So, 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, you will have your 5 over 6. Very good. O, bumababa. Okay, for our last one, carry lang. Dito ko na lang ilalagay ha. Pagpasensya nyo na at maliit ang ating space. Okay, for number 5, we have again Y is equal to K, V, W over Z. Sana hindi nalilito ha. I-post lang na yun ang i-post para masundan ninyo. Okay, so our Y here ay wala. So Y is equal to K is 3, V is 4, and then our W is 7. Okay, and then yung Z mo is 15. Okay, so Y is equal to 3 times 4. That's 12, di ba? 12 times 7, how many is that? Mm -hmm. You will have 84. Okay, and then over 15. 
Pero, pwede pa siyang ma-lowest term, di ba? So, divisible by ano yung 84 and ano, 15. Divisible by 3, di ba? So, you will have here 84 divided by 3, that will be 28. And then, 15 divided by 3, that will be 5. O, naka-lowest term na to. Kaya, ang y nyo is 28 over 5. And then, yung equation nyo will be y is equal to, ano ang k mo dito? 3 vw over z is 15. Ayan, ganyan lang isolve lang yung mga yan. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, kay huwag kalimutang i-comment dyan sa baba kung naintindihan ba ninyo at kung may mga request pa kayong video. O kung wala man kayong gustong sabihin, kahit thank you lang. Sobrang malaking tulong na sa video na ito. Okay? At kung may time kayo, i-visit nyo naman ang ating Facebook page. At nagpaparami din ako ng mga followers. At sana maging followers ko kayo at i-follow nyo itong page na ito. Ngayon, maraming salamat. At hanggang sa susunod na video, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!